Good morning. Good morning to you, but it's not morning. <laughs> oh no, it's afternoon. It's like four o'clock and I just took a nap. <laughs> I've been just tired lately. I don't know, maybe the migraine took something out of me. Um, but yeah, but I was up early, took a walk around the lake. Oh, it's so beautiful here. The last two days it's been really hot, but today it's like 73, I think, and perfect. So it was so nice to have my coffee. Just walk by the lake. I actually plan on walking around the lake again before I go to bed. I have to work tomorrow. Uh, it's Saturday today. And so I am working on a small DIY project. And uh, I thought I'd do it on camera and see if it works. So I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to show you why. So, you know, when I go to sleep at night, so I got a message, a little lovely, nice note on the front of the van the other morning. Um, it's a place that I normally, well, not normally park, but park every once in a while. And, uh, and they were very nice about it. And listen, there's like, uh, uh, it's a hotel plus a restaurant plus a, uh, strip mall so it's all these things and listen I get it whatever um, but when I have the front curtains closed it really you can really tell that somebody is you know hunkered down in here for the night and so what I want to do and at this point um, I'm in the library parking lot I'm going to turn this around so I can show you what I'm going to do all right so you see the curtains there and then I close them and they go around um, there. And so they go right by the window up there. So you can't see the cab or anything. So obviously it looks like somebody's in here sleeping. So what I got, and I went last night and then I brought it back because I didn't think it would go. But um, so I got this. I got like a blue one, but that didn't go. So I went back today. Uh, and this one's called Sun Zero, 100% blackout, energy, noise. And it's one panel, 63 inches in length. And I had gotten bigger hooks. You know, these hooks have come in so handy in the van um, to hold. Or if this fails, I got these X s hooks and i'll show you why so i got all that at walmart and then this i got at target last night so this was the last one left everybody's going to college and i found this in the bath department um i'd never seen one so thin you know it's a thing for a like a, a curtain a shower curtain that's what it's called uh, so it's not your normal one, and it's a lot thinner, and that's what I wanted because I don't want one of those big round ones. So I got this. So this was $6. These were like $2, $3. This was $15, and these were $2. So pretty inexpec inexpensive uh, DIY if I can make it work. So uh, I got, I had bigger ones of these. But I realized, because I was trying to figure out where I needed to put these, and I think I'd have to put it up because I can't put it under here. Because uh, what I'm going to do is hang that and then put this in there and then put the curtain on there. And then I thought if those hooks didn't work, because they actually only hold a pound, I don't know if it's a pound a piece, uh, but these S hooks, because this is actually a drawer, but it's hard to get out, so I don't really use it, uh, but that I could hook this there and then hang it and then hang this thing there. So yeah, just all in my mind, like I said, don't know if it's gonna work, but uh, yeah. Let's try it and see what happens, huh? That's all we can do. Okay, let's open that up and see what works. Okay, good in theory, close, but I realize I have to do a couple things 
and I am going to show you, first of all, the rod is not long enough. I didn't measure how long this is here. So, um, and these aren't wide enough and neither are these. These won't fit um, around the, uh, what do you call it? You know, the drawer thing, but they have bigger ones of these and I don't know, I might have to really go with the S ones because these ones I'm not gonna be able, and I'll show you. See how I want it above these? And I was gonna just set it on here, but this is in the way, so I can't. So I needed these small so that they could stay up here, but it's too thin. The rod won't fit in there. And if I need a longer rod, um, I don't know what kind of rod I'm gonna have to find. But anyway, so this is, and what I realized too, I didn't realize that this only came to here. So I need a bigger rod. When oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, light bulb. I'm gonna get one of those uh, shower ones that, um, you know, that you can do and then you turn it to tighten it. Uh, and it is gonna be one of the bigger rods. And then I need another, uh, one of these, another curtain. So then I will have two curtains and I can open them. I kind of wanted that anyway, but I wasn't sure how big this was going to be. So I'm going to get another curtain, a bathroom shower rod, and then I don't think I need anything to hang it. So, I don't know. Let's see if that works. I got to go get the stuff. That would have been easier just to begin with. All right, I left the library. She's the hot one again. Uh, and went and got a tension rod and then another um, panel. And let's see if this works. Well, that was easier than I made it out to be. I could have just done this. Ingenious. I'm going to turn this around and show you what it looks like. That is perfect. And all I needed were three things, two panels and a tension rod. And so I just put the tension rod um, on top of here. I'll show you there and there. And now I have two panels. Oh, let's see here so I can open that. And as you see, that's blackout right there. And so when I'm not using it, um, I will like pull these all the way to the side. I have to lift it up to pull them all the way to the side. But that solves that. And then I think I'm gonna get something to like tie these up over here, but that will be for another day. But problem solved because now people won't be as likely to know that someone's in here because the cab will be free. There won't be the curtains um, closing out the window. So it'll just look like somebody's parked there. And these are solar and noise cutting. Let's see, 100%, I'll just show you again. So I just got these at Walmart, uh, two panels and a tension rod. Um, Sun Zero, 100% blackout panel, blacks out 100% of light, energy saving, reduces cost for heating and cooling, Great for any bedroom or media room, machine washable. Yeah. Oh, energy something and noise reducing. So, there you go. Quick answer. Finally, something kind of simple. And I went through all that. But now you know if you want to add a privacy curtain. Um, that's all you need. Okay. Good morning. It's Sunday and I, it's another beautiful day. Oh my gosh. It's like 73 maybe, perfect temperature. Um, kind of cool, but still nice, sun's out. I'm taking a walk by the lake before I have to work today. And uh, yeah, just starting my day. 
um, listening to a podcast and yeah. So this is where I'm going to let you go. And tomorrow I go to the Airbnb. I'm excited to share that with you. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting, fun, weird, crazy, you know, the normal. Okay. Go out, make an adventure, no matter how big or how small, you don't have to sell everything and move into a van. I did that, but you can. It's fun. And go call someone that you love. And as Joy says, tell them that you love them. And don't you dare forget your magic. It's all magic. It's beautiful. You're beautiful. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.